And finally, before I turn this over to James Taylor, I'd like to ask Scott Denning to come up. Professor Denning is uh, the professor of climate science at Colorado State University. He was one of the speakers that James Taylor was able to recruit uh, who doesn't necessarily agree with some of the sentiments that were expressed by many of the speakers. And Scott asked if he could just say a few words. So welcome, Scott Denning. Thank you very much. I want to thank you very much uh, for, for inviting me to this conference, and I have to say that I've learned a lot here. Uh, it was very gracious of, of James and of uh, the organizers to bring me here, and um, I, I actually feel that it's, it's really too bad that uh, more of my colleagues from the scientific community didn't, didn't attend this and, and haven't in the past, and I hope that we can uh, remedy that in the future. I want to just... I, I want to just say a couple of things here. Uh, it, it's been fascinating. I really have learned a lot from you folks, and, and I want to thank you for that. I am not a warmist, okay? Um, I, I am an atmospheric scientist. I am a professor. Um, I, am, I feel that uh, of the scientists that I've met here, we have much more in common than our differences, and I think that uh, we could learn quite a bit from each other. One of, the things, one of the things that we have in common is a genuine curiosity about the way the world works and a, a desire to understand the world better. Uh, I know that there's more than science going on here. There, there is a political uh, flavor to what's going on here as there is in, in other, um, other f venues as well. And I, I think the, the most important thing that we have in common is the following, that we think we need public policy that, that's based on facts, rather than facts that are based on a policy agenda. I think we can all agree that there is a real world out there and that the physics of that real world does not depend on, on political bent, on what we might say to one another, and that uh, our rhetoric does not, does not set the physics. The physics is, is independent of what we think about it. Um, so, so just uh, as perhaps a helpful comment to you guys, I'm not the enemy, okay? I'm not from the dark side. Uh, I, I don't uh, eat small children for breakfast. Um, I, I actually, you know, I, I'm an American and I believe in free enterprise and free markets and uh, what, what I think has really been missing from this debate, if, if, if you could call it a debate, um, is constructive solutions that come from, from the political faction or whatever we want to call it that's represented in this room. Uh, I think that if, if one only argues about the physics and doesn't argue about the political response to that physics, the danger is that the political response comes entirely from one side of the political spectrum. And I think that there's really a tremendous opportunity for free market solutions to climate issues, energy issues, that is not being heard. And I would caution you about um, falling into a sort of us versus them paranoid point of view that will, that will make your, your voices less heard. I think that you're, you really do have important things to say here, and I hope to be able to continue the dialogue uh, with you folks. And again, I thank you very, very much for inviting me.